the line of the abs have on the ice tonight he may have to be just as good as he was and here we go we're underway as Borduzzo gets it after the draw for the Blues and bumps it in yeah abs will be in Washington on a Tuesday and then Florida next Thursday here's David Perron quick shot goes off the post short side as Kipper had it covered and one handed deep by Pareko sent up to the point and it's full Who's circling the perimeter? Now it's Falk in the high slot with a shot. He scores! Justin Falk rips it past the blocker of Darcy Kemper and inside the far post. St. Louis takes an early 1-0 lead. The first 15-18 minutes of that game. Tonight, St. Louis has come out and they've had some really good pressure and some quick odd man breaks that have led to now that first goal by Falk. Certainly had a very noticeable first game against the Chicago Blackhawks. Was flying all over the place with Spunky. Good play by the Blues. Sent down deep and a shot saved by Kemper as he robs the former Ranger, Buchnevich. They've been kind of forgotten about the fact that they have been in their zone a lot in the last three periods. Hassan, quick shot. Off the post, it was deflected. Just scooted by Kemper. Showing that speed. Separates from Perron. On Byram in the mix. Gets the feed and shoots. Oh, and a mask save there by Bennington. Nothing he could do but just stick his head straight up in the air and take it off the grill. And Tory Krug wraps him up on the near side. Crowd is like it. The Eric Johnson walks in and shoots. Off the iron! Off the iron! And it goes right through the crease. Oh, the Abs had Bennington beat twice. And he just escapes the Abs getting even in this one. Marie tries to stick it back into the corner. Gets tackled down to the ice. We've only had one minor call to this game. How much some room and a shot deflected. Saved by Bennington. And the Abs are starting to put the goalie under siege a little bit of the St. Louis Blues. Carried in by Shen. Got loose and scores. Abs couldn't get the puck away from Braden Shen. And he goes short side to make it a 2-0 lead for the St. Louis Blues and for Shen. No, but also he scored the goal right here. The puck just seems to get lost for a second of the defenseman. But then as he's going off the ice, I didn't see him get slashed. He got a good shot on net. A goal completely against the floor. Leon had a tough night and dropped out of the number one spot, but Raymond had a phenomenal year and we expect more at 66 points in the shortened season last year, leading the Avalanche, one more than Nathan McKinnon. Here's Perron back in with a wrist shot. Scores! David Perron. Well, every Blues goal tonight has been a fantastic wrister, and Perron, who is a game-time decision, now makes it 3-0 in favor of St. Louis. Perron came over to the St. Louis Blues. He'd been there originally. Came over, they won a cup, played so well. But that that's just a rocket. An absolute rocket far side. And now the Avalanche... You know, it looked like they were coming, but two quick goals by the St. Louis Blues, and the Avs are in a big hole with 8.23 remaining in this second period. Saad with his first assist as a Blue. Pareko gets the second. This period, total shot attempts 23. The Blues, four. Yet they've got two goals. Awesome Kedrick, cross ice shot, score! Andre Burakovsky on a perfect feed from Kedrick. To get the F some momentum and get back in it, he goes short side. It's now a 3-1 contest and for Burakovsky. Well, he's playing left wing on this line. But he's on the right side, his normal side, when he takes his shot. And again, you see how he disappeared out of the picture? That's what great players do. Watch Burakovsky come all the way across, all the way down like that. And then he's wide open. Here is Burakovsky in stride at Sample, the rookie, working his way into the front of the Ranta! Saved by Bennington, he'll cover it up. <laughs> Onto the top unit, returning to the ice, and now the entire top unit is on the ice. Shoveled up by Burakovsky, springs himself and shoots! And a glove saved by Bennington, that was a beauty. That's his best save of the night. They go down the boards, good play by Butch Navich, and knock that one free, and that's going to recover, and they do. Hale McCarr, Carson, one-timer, oh, what a save by Jordan Bennington. That's goal scorer, has, the, has a shot from his wheelhouse, and Bennington again, just, I mean, Mosh. That is spectacular. The Barakowski save was really technically sound. That one was spectacular, because I'm looking. 
Still fighting for it. O'Connor bumps it up top to the point. Here's Murray. Centering pass. Helm couldn't pull the trigger. O'Connor can. Save. Oh, what a save by Bennington again. On the second opportunity, he got the left pad down on the ice. And right now, he's doing all of it. Here comes Falk. Clearly not as offensively prolific. Quick shot score by Perron. That's his second of the night as it was fed into the circle. And he went inside the far post. It's a power play goal in St. Louis. Now has made it a 4-1 game. He was iffy the other way. And then two great shots as he is, he's got that calm nature. A little bit like Barakowski with the avalanche. Just that good, quick release at just the right time. Shows up. No, look at him. 57. Going in, going in, gets it. Waits, top shelf, far side. Four terrific wrist shots tonight have beaten Darcy Kemper. He had eight penalties on that particular shift. And they were not going to call one of them. They were out in front. Say by Kemper. He robs Barbashev point blank. McCarr dances his way to the top. Now it's Ketter. Back to Kale. Is there a shooting lane? There is not. Comfort couldn't get a lot of work. Score! Tyson Jones got a piece of it after JT Comfer partially fanned. Tyson Jones and Comfer combining for one the shot on net right there by Comfer and Joe scoring. Those two guys, when you when everything gets back in order, they're the keys to that third and fourth line for the Colorado Avalanche. Strange who thinks have happened as McCarr takes over. Shot by Cappy. Score! On the doorstep is J.T. Kupfer. Dish down into the blue paint. He finishes off and the abs have cut it down. It's now a 4-3 contest. Now the abs are down by three. But last night, inside of three minutes, two teams came back to send the game into overtime. <laughs> The Avalanche going to do it again. Comfort is, oh, thank goodness you got a stick on it. I was going to say. <laughs> Kale feeds it off for Rittenden. McCarr, long wrist shot, one of them, put it front. Say Bennington, rebound, score! Oh, and it's scored! <laughs> Covering all the ice! Well, what are we watching for? Let's see. Puck goes down low. Comes through. I think the oh. Blues think it was kicked in. It did go in off the skate. No. But was he, was it, did he kick it? Or was it just going in? And did it hit anything before it crossed? Uh, I don't know. Comp, if this one is to be counted for the Colorado Avalanche, you're down 4 1. People are leaving, they're going home. And instead, everyone's turned to come back, and the place is going crazy. Let's listen in downstairs. Okay. A third viewing the play it was determined that it was kicking motion. They're both going back over to the removal. 30 seconds left. Do the Avs have one more charge in them? Tyson Jost. Centering pass goes off the leg. It's taken away by O'Reilly. He'll find an empty net to shoot out. And he skates it in. So the Avs were game here in the third period, but O'Reilly with the empty netter puts it away. It's a 5-3 St. Louis lead. Missed, but he had his spot. But here's the empty net goal, O'Reilly out there again. And O'Reilly will be, of course, on the ice. Certainly without Nathan McKinnon. Now Gabe Landeskog. And that will do it. The Avs come up short of the end. Thought they had the game tied, denied by the referee on a kicking motion.